Welcome back here to Get Up DC 644. Scientists believe the old saying history is our greatest teacher stands true when it comes to the coronavirus. That's right. Matt Gregory takes us back in time to explain. Welcome back to a special This Week in History on Global Diseases. The coronavirus is approaching pandemic levels, and we wanted to see how it factors into the history of human diseases. So we'll start by answering the question, what is a pandemic? It is an outbreak of a disease that occurs over a wide geographic area that affects a high proportion of the population. What does that really mean? Basically, it's a disease that affects the entire world and is contagious to most of the people on it. But pandemics aren't a new thing. They've happened throughout human history, and the one we really point to as one of the worst was in the 1300s, the bubonic plague outbreak. Historians do believe that the plague started in a port in Sicily, but there is evidence that suggests that it actually started in China and was spread through trade ports before ravaging Europe. A lot of people know that rats played a big part in the bubonic plague, but it was actually the fleas biting the rats that eventually had the disease transmitted all the way up to humans. And over the next few years, helped by those trade routes, the plague spread throughout Asia and Europe, and there are estimates that it killed as many as 25 to 50 million people, which equated to about 60% of Europe's population. So if we move forward to the 1900s, that's where we see the pandemic known as the Spanish flu, which actually took place during the flu season in 1918, right during World War I. The Spanish flu is estimated to have infected roughly 500 million people across America, Asia, and Europe. Spanish flu actually killed more people than the entire death toll of World War I. By the end of the 20th century, we had the HIV AIDS pandemic. It spread from the late 1970s and continues to this day. Around the world, the virus has infected more than 75 million people and has killed roughly 32 million people as it spread, and scientists to this day are still continuing to work towards a vaccine. The most recent pandemic we wanted to focus on was the 2009 H1N1 swine flu, where the outbreak point was actually North America. The virus was originally seen in pigs, and it spread from the United States across the world. The death toll is still being calculated, but at this point, scientists estimate that roughly 150,000 could have died, all the way up to 600,000 people. Which brings us to COVID-19, or the coronavirus, which continues to infect thousands across the world and kill thousands, but not anywhere near the stretch of what we've seen in the previous pandemics yet. It's going to take an international effort of nations working together to try to lessen the blow of this epidemic as it continues to spread across the world. 